All right, today I'm going to be making, well, actually remaking my Zawa goggles for my Zawa cosplay. Um, as you can probably imagine, it's pretty easy for me to cosplay Zawa. As you can see, I just look exactly fucking like him. So, you know, that's easy. But I made these goggles uh, a long time ago, and they look great. They look like they're from the anime. They, they're perfect. The only problem is, is they're entirely made out of foam, and you can't see out of them. And I get a lot of flack for not being able to actually put them on. So today I'm going to be making one that actually works, like as goggles. Um, so what I used is I started out with a sheet of acrylic that I had left over from another project, and I'm tinting it with some window tinting. Then I just used one of my old school IDs to like attach it to the glass. There's a bunch of tutorials online on how to do this properly, so just look one up and then follow what they have to say, because it works the same as doing it on an actual glass. Next I took my old goggles to make a pattern out of them, and the pattern's really simple, it's not a whole lot of thought if you were wondering. It's literally just like a weird boomerang piece that you make four times, and then like a rectangle, and then a slanted rectangle, which is a trapezoid, I guess. You know, because two of the lines are parallel, and two of them aren't, you know, trapezoid definition. But, you know, whatever. Then I took the pattern and cut it out on cardboard because I want it to be a little stronger than just foam, so it's not all floppy. But I attached them all together using contact cement, and then after they were all attached, I painted them all black because I want this like layered look. And then after that, I cut out all the foam using the same pattern, but this time the pattern is just a little bit smaller. So then I can get like that panel look. And actually it looks kind of more like anime. Also don't use just scissors to cut out foam. I know that's what I'm doing here, but it looks bad. Please use an exacto knife or a box cutter or something. Scissors are kind of shite for cutting foam. Uh, now that I have uh, all the pieces basically all together, I have these foam, the foam pieces with all these little scales for the sides too, and then I have the lenses, which I cut off camera. It's not, it's kind of hard, all you gotta do is score it and then snap it, so like score it with like a razor blade and then snap it in half, or use like a rotary tool or like a bandsaw or something. And then this old belt that I have that I'm gonna use to secure it like around my head. And then just put it all together with contact cement. Also, never use Q-tips as a way to spread contact cement. Go buy some sponge brushes. Go buy some sponge brushes or some cheap brushes. I'm just poor and stuck inside at the current moment, so I just used what I had, which were Q-tips. Um, then make sure you cover both sides or whatever you want to stick together with contact cement. Uh, and then make sure both of them dry, and then push them together. And then that's how that works. Um, I used to only use hot glue. But uh, I found a contact cement works a lot better. The only thing I used hot glue for here was attaching the lens pieces and then the belts on the sides because they would work a lot better and because there aren't there isn't really a good surface to use contact cement on. All right, everybody, here is the finished product. Um, sorry about the crappy lighting. I set this up real fast. They're on the scarf too. Um, it's a little big. If uh, you were going to make this, I would definitely scale it down by like, you know, Measure on your eyes. Don't just, like, make it look like a good prop, like I did. Um, I can see out of it fully. I thought these would be an issue, but actually I don't even notice them at all. I look kind of dumb. They're a little bit big, but, you know, I look like Aizawa. And I look like Aizawa anyway, so this is just one step closer to the perfect Aizawa cosplay. Red hair. Red, red on, and some of my hair kind of threw a hole in that, though. At least right now. I think it's definitely one step. And I don't have the scar or the eyeliner on right now. I just thought I'd do this to show you what they're like. Um, the only thing I really changed from like the video you saw is I got rid of uh, the middle bit and replaced it with this thicker piece because looking at reference photos, I saw it was thicker. And the only thing I think I'm going to really redo is uh, I think I'm going to smooth out some of this window tint because if you look at it in certain lights, you can kind of see a few bubbles, especially on this one. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll work on it, but I, I think I did pretty good and I still need to add the little scalies on the side, but that's, you know, you know, you make slanted pieces and then glue them on. I'm just out of hot glue, so I'm not going to be doing that. I don't think contacts would meant, I think it would work. Contact cement would work on the belt, but you know, we'll see. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, hope you guys, um, uh, if you have any questions on how to make it or what you need, uh, ask me in the comments. Uh, like this video if you liked it, feel like leave a comment if you feel inclined. 
Um, yeah, this is enough for this video. So I will see you in the next one.